So JP Nanda, everyone, I hope you are all in good shata. Um, I just wanted to do a quick lightning talk on Jainism and happiness, the true happiness. Uh, feel free to drop any questions in the chat as we go along. So I wanted to start off um, by asking what does happiness mean to you? And if anyone wants to share, feel free to just unmute or um, put an answer in the chat. Um, there's absolutely like no right or wrong answers to this. Um, just wanted to hear everyone's thoughts. All right, so I guess I believe that it means to be like fulfilled or satisfied with your life. Okay. Well, yeah, I agree with that. that. Like, being feeling content. Awesome. Um, today and something else talking about is today is actually uh, for that section the day of Uttam Soch, which means contentment. So you guys were definitely on the right track. Um, so talking more about happiness, you can split it up into say three different categories: present happiness, which is more like the short-lived stuff. Um, seeing your friends, getting, you know, eating ice cream on a hot day, um, smell of roses. Then there's lasting happiness, which is um, more of like that meditative, like tranquil or like nature experience, more like long lasting kind of feeling of peace. And then there's eternal happiness, which is, you know, nirvana, moksha, bliss. Um, and this all kind of ties into also um, contentment. Right, being happy with what you have, um, and I think that has that would eventually lead you to that eternal happiness as well. So I attended these sessions um, by the Jaina LRP committee, where they talked about kind of the Jain path to a Jain way of life, and they presented happiness in a different acronym called Hasi. So in Hindi, Hasi means laughter. Uh, which is also very fitting for the topic. So they broke down happiness into um, a couple different topics. So health, affection, security, significance, and equanimity. And this is kind of a really quick acronym to show you the different categories of how you, another way um, that you can define happiness for things that can make you happy. So now talking about like the Jane path, the Jane connection to this all, and um, we already talked about today's term, but in addition, like our Jane practices, like observing compassion, uh, meditation, the Jane prince, our three A's for our Jane principles, being non-violent, aparigraha, anikantvan, and then the Jane philosophy, which is more of like the soul, moksha, karma. Um, etc. And that can event, that all leads you to happiness um, following those different principles. I know we already talked about um, contentment uh, so that kind of goes along with aparigraha or non-possessiveness. And then we also um, talked about, um, or I will be kind of mentioning in my next slide, um, about nonviolence and compassion. So I actually watched a documentary in my sociology class last year um, called Happy. And I'll drop a link for um, anyone who wants to watch it um, later in the chat. Uh, but it's about an hour long and it goes through the different, um, it kind of goes around to different people around the world and how they observe happiness. Whether that is someone who's surfing and observes that like flow feeling or someone who does seva um, at the Mother Teresa like Foundation in Kolkata and how they feel. And it was a really cool documentary um, to see how everyone kind of observes happiness into their day-to-day -day life. So one quote from that documentary was, cultivating compassion and kindness through meditation affects brain regions that can make a person more empathetic to other people's mental states. And I feel like this goes along with the three A's as well, that like cultivating compassion that goes along with ahimsa, um, and then being more empathetic to others is like an account by this as well, um, kind of understanding other people's um, mental states in their lives. And the last connection, um, I wanted to end with a quote from Robert Bhagwan that kind of goes 
to our third three A of our parigraha. So the one who is free from anger and fear and has conquered all desires attains supreme happiness. So kind of following along with the same idea um, of contentment um, and then a parigraha and also removing your kashais. So this is just a very quick overview of Jainism and happiness. Um, if anyone has any questions, um, I can definitely take some. Okay, thank you um, for listening um, and I'll drop the link to the documentary in the chat if anyone wants to watch.